welcome to beautiful Castle Rock State Park here in southern Idaho. I'm Ranger Tara and today I'm going to be taking you on an adventure to see some of the unique geology that Castle Rocks has to offer. Castle Rock State Park and its sister park, City Rocks National Reserve, have some really cool geology. The landscape is scattered with giant granite pillars that reach hundreds of feet into the sky. The one behind me is called Castle Rock. There are two types of granite in the parks. One is the Green Creek Complex, which is over 2.5 billion years old. And then there's the younger Almo Pluton, which is 28 million years old. Primarily in Castle Rock State Park, we find the Almo Pluton. And that's what we're gonna be seeing today. There are three types of rock. These are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Granite is an intrusive igneous rock. Intrusive igneous rock means that these pillars were formed from cooling magma under the Earth's crust. As the magma cooled, it created large masses of granite also known as batholiths under the ground. For millions of years, mountain ranges around the parks started to rise and wide valleys were formed. As these valleys formed, the sediments around the granite started to erode, leaving just the pillars standing in the landscape. Uncovered on the Earth's surface, the granite pillars were suddenly exposed to mechanical and chemical weathering. This weathering has created bizarre and fantastic shapes and other features in the granite. Let's go see some. Welcome to Three Pools Boulder. It got its name from the fact that it has panholes on the top, which are a unique weathering effect. We're gonna take a look now. We've climbed up onto Three Pools Boulder and you're looking at one of the larger panholes that occurs up here. Panholes begin as tiny depressions or cracks where water sits for long periods of time. The longer water stays pooled on the granite, the more acidic the water becomes. The water becomes acidic by either mixing with decaying vegetation or mixing with minerals that are leaching out of the granite. But once the sitting water becomes acidic enough, it starts to eat through the granite, causing a panhole. This would be an example of chemical weathering. I'm sitting in another one of the panholes up here on Three Pools Boulder. You can see this one doesn't contain any water at the moment. A neat feature about these panholes is that they're home to a really cool little species called fairy shrimp. And you'll see them hatching here in either late spring or early summer. This rock behind me is right next to Three Pools Boulder and it exhibits a different type of weathering. This weathering is called Tifoni. Tifoni is formed when the salt that's transported by rain and water from the Great Salt Lake Basin eats through the granite, causing small little caverns to form. Tifoni is also known as honeycomb weathering, and I'm sure you can see why. Another principle associated with tifoni is called case hardening. As the salt eats away at the interior portions of the granite, the outside erodes much more slowly, 
causing a hardened crust to form. Let's take a closer look. Here we are with a closer look at the Tafoni weathering. You can see the caverns on the inside that have been completely eaten away by the salt. And then the outside is the harder areas that are slowly eroding, and this is the case hardening. Thank you for joining me on this brief tour of the Geology of Castle Rock State Park. We look forward to seeing you in the parks in the future. Remember to like and subscribe to our videos, and if you have any questions on geology, please leave them in the comment section below.